Hello, we are going to talk about airport scanners. Most of us who travel routinely are faced with going through these scanners um, normally, especially in the past few years with the increased alertness for terrorism. It is required in the US to for the airports to install these scanners. So, a lot of us wonder what are these airport scanners are. There are two types of airport scanners uh, used across the country around the world also. One is the millimeter radio wave scanners which uses millimeter radio waves which are similar to radio waves generated by cell phones and do not use x-rays. The second type of scanners are back scatter scanners which uses a low intensity x-rays. Normally this millimeter radio wave scanners appears like a telephone booth. It uses millimeter radio waves and the travelers are asked to stand inside this booth when there is an antenna which sweeps around these travelers which provide a showering with radio waves. It sweeps the subject with millimeter radio waves and there is an antenna which collects the reflected waves to create an image. These scanners do not use x-rays. The second type of scanner is the backscatter scanner. Backscatter scanner can be easily distinguished from compared to this um, um, millimeter wave radio scanners because these are two refrigerator boxes type boxes between which the travelers are asked to stand. It uses a narrow low intensity x-ray beam. The x-rays are scanned at a high speed in a raster fashion. Therefore, there is a um, minuscule amount of time spent on any particular part of the on the body and because the x-rays are of very low intensity majority are scattered back and the detectors collect the scatter x-rays back to create an image. These scanners provide images uh, of an object with anything on the surface. That is one of the reason when we are traveling we are asked to empty our pockets so that it does not show up as any suspicious object on the travelers. The radiation exposure for an individual scan in this backscatter scanner is quite low. A typical dose is so low one has to go nearly 1000 to 2000 of these backscatter scan in order to get a dose equivalent to one chest x-ray. Let me put it in a different perspective with respect to natural background radiation. We are all constantly exposed to natural background radiation um, on this earth. Therefore, comparatively to that uh, it requires about 100 to 200 backscatter scans to get an equivalent of one day of natural background radiation or it is about a single scan is about 10 to 20 minutes of background radiation or it is about 2 to 4 minutes of radiation one receives from air travel. Overall these backscatter scanners are yielding a very low dose radiation. Thank you.